Hey guys, it's MazeMan112 and I'm here with a three minute quick tip for you guys. This one's gonna be this nasty little uh, error that a lot of people are receiving with their Elgato Game Capture. It's telling you that it needs to be connected into a USB 3.0 port and you know that it is. Again, the USB 3.0 ports are normally blue ports. They, are, they have the SS next to them. They're a little bit slightly uh, uh, faster than the 2.0s. Uh, modern computers all have these on the front or the back. That's normally not the issue. The issue that I would have is you're someone like me who might move their setup around a little bit more frequently um, if you just unplug it and replug it back into the same exact USB port, you're still getting this air code. This is what worked for me, and I know it seems a little bit odd. If you just go and search for updates in your system updates, even if you don't have anything, you're like, my system's up to date. That's not what it is. Because uh, I know if you're like me, you're plugging it back in, you're trying everything, you're, you're, you're going back and forth, you're trying your settings, and, and nothing's working, right? Uh, what you could do is check. See, look, you're up to date. And all I'm going to do is quickly, and I'll do this in real time too, is unplug, unplug it from the USB, and plug it back in, right? And as you see, when you do that, it's going to reinitiate. And when it reinitiates, I don't know if by checking for uh, any kind of updates or by just doing this reinitiating process, it seems to um, send the right drivers to the, to, to the USB ports. I don't know what it does, um, but it seems to work for me. Now, for those of you guys that this doesn't work, the other thing that I did have work for me one of the times was going through here into your settings. I'm on an, a PlayStation 4 right now and changing it to an Xbox One uh, and then switching it back to your PlayStation 4. Again, I think the solution was is, is that it reinitiates it. Again, I don't know if it's a software issue or an actual hardware issue with the Elgato capture device itself. Now, if you're using OBS to capture it as well, you'll notice that sometimes you come in here and you'll notice, or I'll hide this, that it's not pulling up. Again, just a black screen, that's all you're seeing. It's not pulling up, though, um, on, your, uh, on, on your, your screen capture. Again, if you go into properties here and go on up here and you go to game capture device. You can see if I click here, it's still nothing. Black screen. You guys can probably hear the music. You can hear that the Elgato is working. Uh, if I go in here again and just kind of, we're just going to switch it to the Elgato, the HD one. This is the old version, not the one that you want to run new and switch it back again to the game capture one that we just had it on. Again, it looks like it reinitiates. Hit OK. And then you can go ahead and now see that, um, or let me, um, how can I make this up front. Uh, you can see it now that it is capturing here. Uh, you have it on there. That's quick two solutions for you guys. Let me know if this helps solve your problem or if it didn't. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, let me know what else the problems you guys might have as well as if you guys enjoy it. Make sure you guys check out my stream. I do stream every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday on Twitch. The link will be down below. Uh, Mazeman112. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.